What is going on ladies and gentlemen? I'm having one of those days today and partially thanks to my girlfriend realizing that the house is a little bit of a mess and that needs fixing. I mean, I've got boxes everywhere. This is such a beautiful establishment. These things are overflowing. Freaking broken furniture out in front of my house. So today I'm going to rent a truck. Just in case we get into some shenanigans, I might leave that company's name out of this video. Let's see what the day has in store. If you missed yesterday's video, I did a little bit of an update on the E63. We know exactly where that is now and Vehicle Virgins now has an app. That's right, iOS and Android. I got a link in the description below for that. You can post pictures of your car, communicate with other subscribers, communicate with me. I'm gonna try to be online as much as possible responding to your comments, and you can watch Vehicle Virgins videos 24 hours in advance if you're a pro member. I'm honestly so pumped about the quality of the app, so make sure to check that out and download it after the video. Beautiful day in Southern California. Unfortunately, my pool is currently broken. The filter pump is making the most annoying noise in the world. Now, I think if I was gonna annoy my neighbor somehow by accident, it'd be because of my super loud car, right? Well, it turns out the filter pump, when it breaks, makes more noise than a straight piped Lamborghini does. So frustrating. Adult things. Has anyone studied bugs? What the hell is that thing? <laughs> ah! Get in there! Oh, it detaches. I didn't want to get close enough. <laughs> I'm scared. Becca for the win. Get it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I had to move it out of the way for the trash can, but I'm sorry it's parked outside because in this garage here, literally the entire thing is filled with boxes. So hopefully I'm going to fix that today because Becca's Mini Cooper needs to have a home in the garage and not boxes. <laughs> they ain't paying rent. And that is what moving looks like. Boxes everywhere. Why do people buy these? The 5 Series GTs are actually the ugliest BMW ever made. Even uglier than the i3 and that's saying something. That's pretty dope. All right, just got myself a big ass truck. This is actually the biggest vehicle I have ever piloted. I don't even have a rear view mirror. How is that safe? Oh my God, it has a vlog camera holder. All right, let's see how well this bad boy accelerates. Oh yeah, 40, yeah. All right, handling, not great. That actually does absolutely nothing at all. Frontal visibility, solid. Rear visibility, yeah, uh, yeah, we won't talk about that one. Not gonna lie, I have a newfound respect for all these truck drivers. Driving these things is kind of difficult. Floor it! It's difficult, but we're gonna floor it! Even though it has terrible visibility, if you were to accidentally change lanes into someone, <laughs> you wouldn't get injured, that's for sure. Oh, uh, sorry, 370. It might be just me, but I'm thinking a 370Z is already a target for the cops. Putting a giant Playboy bunny sticker on the side? You're definitely asking to get pulled over. Ooh, Ariana, looking nice today. Weird seeing your own car being driven on the street, but damn, she's sexy. Wait, this is the best gauge I've ever seen. Put it in black, put it in black. Best fuel economy? Nope. Don't need that. There's actually so much room for activities in that thing. I have to show you guys my garage. It's pretty embarrassing, not gonna lie. All right, get ready, boys and girls. Oh no, oh boy. It is freaking Boxland in here. Have you ever been to Boxland? Welcome. Okay, first order of business is this mess. Get this, I ordered a couch online and it shows up missing the back of the couch. So it was just the weird U-shaped part of the couch and it also didn't have any legs. And they were like, oh, I don't know how that could happen. Yeah, how does that happen? Seriously good progress, got rid of a lot of the boxes here. The boxes in the garage are all gone, making space for Becca's Aventador, but also probably your Mini Cooper, but also probably the E63, but also maybe a GT3 RS. We don't know at this point. Oh, the steering wheel. Ah, look at how many boxes are in this thing. You got it. I believe in you. Oh, wow. Time to hit the dump. Look how like terrified these people look. They're like happy, but they're also like, wow, this is a big truck. Whoa, this is crazy. Where can I rent one of those? I love how the road to the dump is actually scenic. Like, can I do reviews out here? Vehicle Virgin's dump reviews. Hey, you dropped your trash. Ah, there's a lot of birds. There are a lot of birds everywhere. Look, look how nice the dump looks. Not nah. good tires. Time to get new tires for the Huracan. opportunity to review one of these. Check this machine out. Could you imagine a Vehicle Virgin's review on a dump truck machine? All right, time to 
head out. Excuse me, sir, can I do a review? Maybe? Look at that thing. It doesn't even have wheels, it's got treads. We didn't off-road it at all, it's fine. Oh no, yeah, oh, oh. Ah! oh my god! <laughs> this person's car literally says new driver written on the back and <laughs> you can tell, that you don't need that to be on the back of it, you are terrible. I'm just trying to go to the mall and get some furniture and look what just happened. <laughs> oh my god, what? I think he's actually so annoyed at all the people with the fake M badges. That's what they're referring to. That is so... <laughs> I like that. It's now dark, and I will say the headlights on this thing are absolutely pathetic. Although, in the camera, it actually looks right. I'm gonna just drive looking through the camera. Finally got the truck back at the house. At this point, I don't really care that you can see that it's U-Haul, because we didn't do anything crazy. Alright, so guys, I know what you're thinking. Parker, what the heck is this vlog? And you're right, what the heck is this vlog? I wasn't planning on filming today. I'm gonna take the day off completely to work on the house. But you know what? I brought my camera with me and figured I'd film anyways. Give you a little sneak peek of the updates on the house. Now, the U-Haul van has an interesting message on the side of it. Part of the reason why I just changed clothes here. It basically says, send us a picture of you and your adventures with the U-Haul van and we will put your face on the side of the van. Check this out. So these are fully just random people with their faces on the side. Seems like a hilarious free advertising opportunity for a vehicle virgin. So I've got the merch on. I'm gonna park the Lamborghini next to it with the other Lamborghini and take a photo. Oh, Ellie hasn't been started for a while. Sorry, neighbors. Cold start. Yep, that never ever gets old. <laughs> That actually looks hilarious. I think I can confidently say this is the first photo shoot anyone has ever done with a rented U-Haul, and not one, but two Lamborghinis. <laughs> I'm submitting my picture to them. That would be absolutely hilarious to see this on the side of a van. And <laughs> I'm giving you unnecessary advertising. I paid for that U-Haul. Before we drop this U-Haul off, I think it's only fair to do a quick little Vehicle Virgins review of the vehicle. Rear visibility, absolutely terrible. In fact, you don't have a rear window whatsoever. Storage capacity, pretty awesome. Honestly, for a vehicle that big, I believe this is the biggest truck I've ever driven on Vehicle Virgins. It's not actually that hard to deal with. Parking is pretty easy as well. Those mirrors, super handy. Acceleration, <laughs> Laughable. Convenience though, 10 out of 10. Loki did not know if this was gonna fit under here. <laughs> That would have been bad. I'm actually kind of surprised. Apparently this thing takes regular fuel. I was freaking out. Do I put diesel in it? Do I put E85? What do I do? Well, it turns out right there it says, do not use E85, use unleaded fuel only. <laughs> I actually can't really remember the last time I put 87 in a car. Feels good, save money. Just finished up the living room and I've gotta say, this looks pretty darn good. Now, I got a lot of help from my girlfriend in terms of styling, but look at that. I don't even know what any of this is. Starting to feel like a real adult, guys. I mean, flowers on top of a table in the middle of the living room. This is weird. Also, once again, shout out to the subscriber that sent me this. Freaking epic, dude. Ugh, now to fix all this crap. Well, I shouldn't say crap because that's my beautiful old M5. Shout out to my boy Matt Mark who for taking that awesome photo. Finally got this room done for the first time since I moved into this house. I'm gonna turn it into a pool table room. So pool table there, the boys can hang out, maybe a couch, a lot better than a dining room. Now don't worry, tomorrow is going to get a lot more car related. Going to an awesome car show with friends in Westlake. Should be a really, really cool turnout. Taking my Huracan, my friend's bringing his Performante, Malcolm I believe is bringing the M4, James is bringing the Vet, and considering it's the first car show of the year, it should be pretty wild. Now in a couple of days, I'm so pumped, Daily Driven Exotics, we've got Dave, we've got Oliver, we've got Damon, flying all the way out from Canada to come visit me in Los Angeles. Let me know what you guys think about awesome collaboration video ideas we should do together. I haven't done a proper video with Damon, honestly, since Snowball Rally. Wow, that was a long time ago. So they're coming out on Wednesday. I also have some awesome reviews planned that are coming up. I know you guys wanna see some more reviews. Don't worry, the ones I'm about to review, 
I think you're gonna like them. Actually, I know you're gonna like them. Just got an update as well. My wheels for the Lamborghini Huracan are starting to be manufactured. I am so pumped. I really haven't liked those stock wheels. Actually, let's go check them out. So this is what the stock wheel set looks like on the Huracan. They're okay. I like the honeycomb shape, but it doesn't really do much for me. There's another more expensive wheel option from the factory, although I bought my car used, so it wasn't exactly an option. Now, ideally, I wanted those upgraded wheels. They look a lot better than these, but we've got some aftermarket wheels coming that are going to absolutely blow your mind. But I don't want to give it away until I can actually show you guys the wheels, but I'm going to go through step by step the machining process and how these wheels are actually made. Like I said before, a little bit of an unorthodox vehicle versions video. We will be back with 100% car content tomorrow. So don't you worry, it's about to get epic. I needed to clean up the house. It was an absolute mess, especially with guests coming. I still gotta set up one of the guest rooms, but I made some serious progress today. And for those of you who enjoyed the journey today and stuck till the end, thank you so much. Shout out to all of you, seriously. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen.